welcome back to another moto camping video. <laughs> What's up guys? It has been quite a minute since I have gone solo motorcycle camping. And in this video, I am kind of piggybacking off of another video that I'm gonna be making in the future. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit my goal of hitting 200,000 subscribers over here on Her Two Wheels. We are not that far off. And I know over 50% of you watching this right now are not subscribed. So if you enjoy motorcycle content, all things camping, two wheels, and the lifestyle of travel, please consider subscribing. So in today's video, we are at Stroud's State Park here in Athens, Ohio. I'm in the southeastern side section of Athens because Ohio got all cute today and was 75 degrees Fahrenheit so I had to get out and ride. The one thing I did not do on this camping trip is I did not bring any food with me. Truth be told I've actually been having this conversation with a lot of my fellow content creators and solo motorcycle travelers. We've been having a lot more black bear sightings in the area and the east coast is not particularly great at providing bear boxes for campgrounds. So I'm actually very, very close to town. I'm 13 minutes away from downtown Athens with amazing food, bars, breweries, gas stations, restaurants. So I'm gonna go into town and get some food in this video. I also need to pick up some firewood. So Stroud's State Park where I am staying, it is first come first serve. You cannot make a reservation. So that means they also don't have any real services. So there is no camp store or a location where I can buy firewood. And by the way, most state parks require you to not forage for your own firewood. So we're gonna go buy some in this video. So let's go ahead and gear up, hop on the motorcycle and head into Athens. So this place is first come, first serve. And when you get to the front entrance here, there is, hi, there is a little kiosk. So you have to grab one of these and fill out your payment method. It looks like in season rates, which are April 1st through December, $20 per night. You got $45 for camper cabins and $45 per night for group camp. Let's go ahead, fill this out, and then we will have our site for the evening. Alrighty, I'm good to go. The road to get into the campground is called Stroud's Run Road. That's what we're on right now. And it is an absolutely beautiful, little windy, freshly paved, beautiful, scenic road. So um, there is like zero cell service down there, I will say that. So one thing I do before I go on pretty much any camping trip where I know I'm gonna be in an area without cell service is A, I'll download some stuff that I know I need, like shows on Netflix, or I'll bring my Kindle with me so I can read. Um, but I also download offline maps on Google. So I already knew where I was gonna go get dinner because I have maps. Hey, look at that road. It's just like a little kitty roller coaster, like the kind you would get at the county fair, you know, for your six year old. <laughs> I am six years old. So unfortunately, I hate to talk about the weather, but I am from Ohio and we get seven seasons in a week. So I saw that it's 75 degrees. The low tonight is 65, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So I did actually bring my lightweight sleeping bag with me. It made packing a breeze. And uh, I just decided like, this is it. This, is, this might be my last decent motorcycle camping trip of the season. And, uh, not to say I wouldn't go motorcycle camping when it's colder out, but it's just not as enjoyable. So my goals for this uh, rip into town is, like I said, I gotta go get some firewood, wanna get some food, and I might even grab a couple, uh, couple adult beverages. I do believe the pamphlet said, no visibly, no, don't visibly show consumption of alcohol. So, so I'm gonna make sure nobody sees it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the setting sun. It's a wee bit intense right now. Southeastern section of Ohio, by far the most beautiful section of Ohio. It's debatable, but to me, I just, oh, I love this area. Wayne National Forest, Hawking Hills. It just, it's stunning, man. It doesn't get any better than this, at least as an Ohioan. <laughs> I know you can't tell on camera, but I am going down like a 20% grade. And, uh, I love this motorcycle, man. Like I've said multiple times, this thing has a flywheel of a minivan. So I'm not even hitting the throttle at all. I'm just letting the engine brake do all the hard work and uh, safe, 
safely getting down this giant hill. I guess I didn't realize this city was so hilly. I mean, it makes sense. You're, we are quite literally in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains right now. Is this a, oh, okay, interesting. Gosh, old city. <laughs> I can't turn my neck behind me while trying to balance a motorcycle and ride forward. <laughs> so, rumor has it, there is a place in this city called Donkey Coffee. I literally have no idea where it is, but I am going to find it tomorrow morning. I mean, come on, Donkey Coffee? It's like a cool little pub. There's a gas station right there. I wonder if they sell firewood. This place is awesome. Well, I guess I'll use the bike lane. <laughs> All right, let's make a left here and see what uh, see what we got going on down here. Oh, there it is, Donkey Coffee! Yes, I found it. Donkey Coffee and espresso. I'm coming for you tomorrow, baby. Oh, right next to the sheriff's office. Rad. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm on a crazy hill. So I get to use reverse. God, I love reverse. All right, and since we are on a crazy hill, put it in first gear. Dude, the crystal? There's a sports bar. The crystal sounds dope. Let's go there. Okay, well, Crystal's is a, just a bar, so that makes sense that I would want to go there. So we got to go find food. My bartender is obsessed with Taylor Swift. Ah, I'm going to get demonetized. <laughs> Okay, well, I was very impressed by their prices before I saw the quality of their food, so... <laughs> oh, I got a little delivery girl there. Uh, yeah, I probably would have had better quality food going to a McDonald's, unfortunately, but it was quick and easy and I needed to come in town anyway. So I'm heading over to a Kroger right now because if you guys are in the Midwest, Kroger sells the best firewood. I swear I'm not making that up. So let's brave the young adult children in this very, very collegiate city and head over to Kroger to get some firewood. <laughs> oh, there is a puppy. Hello, sweet angel baby. Oh my God, looks like a baby Scooby-Doo. Okay, I really need to pay attention because these roads are confusing. Stop signs everywhere and literal children men playing uh, football. Sorry, excuse me. Oh my God, I hope your boobs don't reach out and attack me. What? is happening. I have never felt as old as I feel right now. Oh my God. My God, I went to art school. My art school was way different than normal college. <laughs> Boys were not outside shirtless playing football. They were outside playing Quidditch. Pr pr pretending to play Quidditch. That's a Harry Potter reference for all of you guys that don't know what Quidditch is. But yes, art school. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the wood I was talking about. $4.99 per bundle. Like, come on, man. You cannot beat that. So I try to find some bundles that have like little tiny pieces so that I don't have to chop a whole bunch. Ooh, that's a really good one. So I think I'll buy two. And I'll have to re-strap these to the bike. This one looks pretty good. I'm gonna go put these on my bike and then go pay. Just like that. Alrighty. We are all load it up try to tuck in these extra let's go camping so heading back to the campground now and gosh i don't really know how much else we're going to be able to film because eh, the sun's going to go away so it's going to be dark let's hurry up and get back and get a campfire it's already so dark outside and i'm already hearing like the weirdest noises but Looks like a couple other campers rolled in. They got some kiddos playing. 
unless that's somebody on the trail, I am not gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> I think it's time to crack open uh, a beverage that you can't tell what it is and sit by the fire. I'm not thinking of Blair Witch at all. It's already so dark, I know you can't see me so I have my phone out, but oh my gosh, the moon is coming up over the horizon. <gasps> it's beautiful. Like, it genuinely got brighter out here because the moon came out. Oh, I love it. Time to put some more wood on the fire. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is why it pays to register early at these campsites. So the camp host, her name is Shelly. She actually just stopped by checking in on all of us and thank you for paying. She's like, I love it when I don't have to chase payment. And when you camp at a campsite that's first come first serve, it's very easy for people to forget. But she gave me these amazing presents. First of all, the real reason that I am in the area of Athens, Ohio is because tomorrow I start an amazing motorcycling journey on the Ohio Windy Nine. So she gave me these uh, patches and a sticker for the Ohio Windy Nine. If you guys want to know more, um, stay tuned for my future videos. But on top of that, because like I said, I'm a six-year-old at heart, she just gave these to a couple little girls staying on down the road. But uh, <laughs> I got these uh, color that you put them in your fire and they change color. So I'm like, uh, yeah, thank you. I was more excited about these than the, the stickers. <laughs> okay, it's very bright. Let's enjoy the sounds of nature and try not to turn the light on anymore. As soon as I said I was gonna turn this bright light out, I turned it back on. But once again, if you guys are not familiar with my channel, uh, I'm kind of a big astronomy buff, also astrology, because who doesn't want to believe in magic? But um, the one thing I do love doing when I come out camping, especially when I'm by myself, there's not a whole lot of else to do. I either read or I use this app and look at the constellations around me. So I'm gonna show it to you really quickly, not sponsored. This is an app, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. This is an app called Sky View, and if you move it around, ooh, so it looks like right, which way is up? Look, there's Saturn. So it uses your GPS and it shows you the, uh, the constellations and the stars around you. Here, let me take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's, it's very disorienting, I'm sorry, but there's my bonfire and if you look at the app, you can see the bonfire in the background. And so it looks like Jupiter's just coming up over the horizon. We should be seeing that in a few hours, but up there, that's the moon. Look at how, I just, oh. So, um, I don't know, I got this app for free a couple years ago, but it, I have used it so much. It is just truly amazing. Okay, color in the fire. <laughs> I just crawled into bed and so far, it has been an amazingly peaceful night. I am camping on a Thursday, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, my handy dandy little lantern, uh, the batteries died. But luckily, it is glow in the dark, so it did help me get a lot of the things done in my tent that I needed to get done with just a little glow before I actually crawl into bed. So, when it is almost winter time, sun sets at like super obnoxious hours, we're not even into daylight savings yet. It's just, anyway, yeah, sunset at like 6.20 p.m. tonight. So, I'm going to go ahead and read my book, lounge in my little air mattress and my tiny sleeping bag, and really hope that this is enough for the evening. Uh, it is going down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I thought it was 65. I'll see you guys in the morning. Probably have another little campfire and then I'm just, I'm just going to be dreaming of coffee all night tonight. Thanks for camping with me. See you in the morning. I needed a warmer sleeping bag. It got pretty cold last night and it rained three times. I don't think I slept at all.
I just kept watching the hours tick by. It wasn't supposed to rain. Uh, let's go make a fire. My neighbors, like, a few doors down are cooking bacon. And oh my god, it smells so good. All I can think of is donkey coffee. <laughs> I hear people walking behind me. I know there's trails over there. Hmm. Glad I didn't hear that last night. <laughs> While I wait for this fire to burn down, I'm just going to enjoy this very gloomy morning. I didn't know it was supposed to be gloomy. Alrighty, well, as I wait for the uh, sun to break through the clouds, I can't take it anymore. That bacon smells way too good. So I think it's time to leave the campground and head over to Donkey Coffee. Like, why didn't I think of a name like that? <laughs> okay, Dolly's all packed up, and I don't know if you can tell by the terrain, but this is one of those trees that drops those giant, like, walnuts or whatever they are. I'm not sure. Um, so this whole paveway is just littered with them. It's super slippery. It rained last night, so I am definitely using reverse to back my ass up out of this thing. <laughs> to use reverse, you have to pop it in neutral, start her up, and then all the way down here, ugh, I know you probably couldn't see it, but it puts you in R mode. So it is gonna take us four business days to make sure we don't tip over. <laughs> And, oh my gosh, it's so slippery. Holy crap. I would never be able to do this by myself. I tried to clear out some of the bigger walnuts. But I'm telling you, man, so many people ask me, like, would you rather take your Harley or your BMW? And I'm like, dude, my BMW? I know I can get out of anything. <laughs> Just like that. And we're out. Lift her back up. Pop her in first. It's a terrible tutorial, but you're picking up what I'm putting down. This was a really, really nice campsite. Um, I think I just ate a bug. Um, oh, hi, little squirrel. Hi, handsome boy. <laughs> Yee! <laughs> I slept like crap, but dude, I just, anymore, I hate camping by myself. The, like I said, the only reason I came camping tonight or last night was because now, today, after I get myself some donkey coffee, of course, 
I am going to go ride some of Ohio's most famous motorcycling roads and automobile roads if you're a car enthusiast too. This is not particular to just riders, but that will not be in this video. So you're gonna have to subscribe and stay tuned because I'm very, very excited for that video. Okay, well, I'm here at Donkey Coffee. It's incredibly busy, um, but very good. I've already ordered a refill <laughs> because I'm clinically addicted to cold brew. Okay, well, it is raining off and on and I need to hurry up and get out on the road in between pockets of rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps get my content out to the YouTube algorithm and hopefully get more eyes with some moto curious people in the future. So thank you so much for watching and until my next one, you guys be good and I'll see you later.